Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Stephanie and thank you so much for clicking on this video. I am going to be doing my weekly transaction tracking for the fourth week of December, which was December 23rd through the 29th. And after I do the transaction tracking, I will close out my paycheck budget for the week. I do use the Budget Moms Highlighter method to highlight my transactions into the different categories that I have and then um, tally them up and put them on my paycheck bill tracker. We are a family of five. My husband and I both work full time. We have three boys, ages three, seven, and eight. We also have two seven-month-old Rottweiler puppies, and we live in Central Florida. So first things first here, grab my highlighters. Oh, making a mess. All right, first things first, um, pay. We got paid last week. Uh, both me and my husband got paid last week. He got paid his usual $1,300. And I got paid $17.92. The first thing that came out after we got paid was our Vistar credit card bill for $300. Um, one night after work, I asked my husband to stop at a local restaurant and pick up some cheesy bread and marinara sauce because I just really wanted some. So he did that for us, for him and I each to have a cheesy bread and marinara. It was $10.50. Of course on Christmas Eve I had to go out and do a little bit of last minute shopping. Um, I had to get some candy for my son's stockings. So the first place I went to was um, the dollar store that was this 926 transaction and they didn't have very much candy I like to get them stuff that they don't get normally um, you know just like the fun wild off-the-wall candy um, I was looking for kinder eggs because they really love those um, I ended up getting them each like a large package of gum and um, I think some like airheads sour drops or something, not airheads, what are they called? Warheads, some warheads sour drops. Um, I can't remember what else I got from the dollar store, but it wasn't a lot. So then I went to like the Raceway gas station and got some ring pops and baby bottle pops and um, a couple of other candies. There is where I got the Kinder Eggs also. So all that candy equaled up to $16.20. Um, on this day, I picked up our grocery order from Walmart, and in it was a case of beer for my mom for her Christmas present. Um, our Walmart grocery order on the 24th was $158.45. Um, after Christmas, my husband got gas. That was $68. Gas has gone back up. I think it was like $280 something a gallon when he got the $68 to fill up his truck. But gas is now $310, I think, the last time I saw it. So, yeah, jumped back up after Christmas. My van, I filled up. I wasn't you know, terribly low. I just knew I was going to be going to my sister's house for Christmas and um, she lives about an hour and a half away from us. So I just topped off my tank while I was in town getting um, groceries. So to fill up my van, it was $38.45. After Christmas, of course, um, I'm sure the number one purchase the day after Christmas is batteries because I had to go to the dollar store and get some batteries for something that my son got for Christmas. He needed 4D batteries, so that was $8.56. Um, last year for Christmas, we bought my three-year-old a Amazon Fire tablet, and it came with a year subscription to Amazon Kids and 
that renewed on like Christmas Day for $4.99. I'm not sure what his tablet will be like without the Amazon Kids because we've never been without it. So I think I'm going to try and cancel it and then see like what he's able and not able to do on his tablet. And if the functionality is pretty much the same, then I will probably just keep it off. But if he needs it to play the games he already has downloaded on his tablet or watch the videos he has already, then I will probably um, renew it. I might see if they have like a better deal if you buy like a year at a time. But I'm planning on canceling this before the January payment comes out. On the 26th, our Chase credit card bill came out for $105. On the 26th, our mortgage came out for $17.52.36. Also, our tithe came out for $150. We did have an unbudgeted expense come out. We had to rent a U-Haul trailer to go pick up the skid steer we ordered from China. Um, at the port it took forever for this charge to come through I think it's because initially we only rented it for two days and then it ended up being four days by the time we brought it back so that made it 184 69 um, the day before Christmas Eve we got Domino's because I didn't feel like cooking I accidentally ordered three pizzas instead of two pizzas so it was 64.83 which was A-OK -okay because we ate that other pizza the next day for lunch. Um, I rented the newer Grinch movie, um, the, the most recent one for my kids to watch on Amazon. It was $4.37. And then our AC needed some filters, which was $48.95. Daycare came out for the usual 140. I did go back to Walmart to um, get a supplemental grocery order because the first grocery order we had, I think like $18 of this was a pack of Tropicana juice that my husband wanted. It was 24 bottles of juice, so essentially $140 worth of groceries when we normally spend like $220. Uh, a week so I went back to Walmart to try and get another order uh, in my cart it was $50 but after the substitutions and out of stocks it was $20 and 8 cents since so much was out of stock I decided I was gonna go to Publix and pick up the things that were out of stock my car had been acting funny like on Christmas Eve when I was driving back from my sister's house the check engine light came on and I didn't think anything of it because I was driving the car it was driving fine but then the next few days it was really cold like in Florida it was like 20 some degrees in Central Florida so my, my car was having a hard time cranking and I thought it was just because it was so cold but then um it just still kept having a hard time cranking, even when it was warming up. And if I drove it in the morning, it was still having a hard time cranking in the afternoon. So um, I made an appointment to take it to get serviced tomorrow, Jan uh, December 30th. But while I was at the grocery store, Publix, my car wouldn't start. So um, long story short, I had to have my car towed to the Chrysler dealership from Publix. I do have AAA because we just signed up for AAA when we got the umbrella policy we needed for our um, solar panels, the additional liability we needed. So fortunately, I didn't have to pay for the tow, but my car has been at Chrysler since yesterday. Um, and so far, all they have been able to tell me is that my battery was dead and that's gonna be like $450 for them to install this gigantic Mopar battery and for the labor for that. So I'm waiting on him to call me tomorrow and tell me if there's anything else wrong with my car. I did take it to like AutoZone and have them read the codes on Tuesday night when I picked my son up from daycare and it was throwing like 
crankshaft and camshaft error codes. So part of me is hoping that I didn't just cost us $450 for a battery um, and that something else is wrong. But another part of me is like, well, if it's just $450, let's just pay for the battery and get out of here because <laughs> it could be like a $2,000 charge by the time, you know, they diagnose additional problems. So I don't know. Say a prayer that it's it's not anything other than the battery, but I'm kind of mad that if just the battery was dead, the guy said it was like reading absolute zero on the little thing that they have at the dealership. I don't know why the codes at the AutoZone when they plug the machine in didn't tell them that I had a, a low battery charge or my battery was dying. Like I would have just bought one right then and there and brought it home for my husband to install. So, um, but yeah, I went to Publix and got a few things. It was $42.19. I had to make sure I got some mozzarella sticks because I could not come home and let my three-year-old know that I once again did not get any cheese sticks because he would have been heartbroken. Um, and I also got some Eggo pancakes. They had plenty of them at Publix. When I was standing there in front of the freezer, I wanted to like snatch like 10 boxes and throw them in my cart. But then I was thinking about how junky my deep freezer was and it wasn't going to fit in there but I did get two boxes I was so happy to see those pancakes because they never have any at Walmart they have every flavor of Eggo waffle but never any Eggo pancakes and they're my favorite I love them um my husband did come and pick me up from Publix and while we were waiting on the tow guy to come he ran to Sonic and got us some breakfast and that was 1974 and then today he went to Costco and got us some more better than bouillon chicken base for $15.98. And then the last thing on here is an additional Christmas gift that we bought for $24.02. Can't even remember what it was, but there it is. Okay. So now I'm going to pull in my paycheck fill tracker here. And we can go over the transactions for the week. So let's start with income. Which one of these pens was I using? I'm trying to find a pen that's like not shimmery. So it's easier for you guys to see. Alright, so my husband's pay was $1,300. My pay was $1,792. And we didn't have any additional income? No. Okay. Oh, what was our rollover? 129.48. Nothing else. Oh, looks like it's the same. 32, 21, 48. There's that pesky 10 cents again. Oh my gosh. I'll be so glad when this month is over with. <laughs> All right. Daycare was 140. The mortgage was 1752.36. Tide was 150. Um, next gen didn't come out. Chase 105. And five star for 300. So that would be 24, 46. Let's just double check. So 140, 1752, 36, 2446 yes minus 
Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Hold on, let me check my math real quick. Because that's only a ten dollar difference. Oh no, it's not. It's a twenty dollar difference. Seven fifty one, seven seventy four. Okay. Okay. Seven seventy four. Twelve for groceries. We spend. One fifty-eight forty-five. In twenty oh eight. Forty-two nineteen. And uh oh, no, that's not right. It wasn't two thousand dollars. Didn't spend that much on groceries, not this week. Fifty-eight forty-five plus 2008 plus 4219 plus 15698 236.70 I don't know why I skipped gas but okay let's go back and do gas um, 68 and 3845 For fast food, we got ten fifty plus nineteen seventy four plus. Oh, I colored this the wrong color. I do that all the time. Oh my gosh! This is the green. The highlighter yellow slash green is for my pets. I don't know why I did that. This. Okay. Plus sixty four eighty three ninety five oh seven. Wow. For household, we just had the air filters for forty eight ninety five. We didn't have anything for medical, we didn't have anything for personal. The one eighty four sixty nine for the U haul rental. Pets didn't have anything, fortunately. And kids, we had the Amazon subscription and the movie. So nine thirty six. Okay, I'm gonna add that up real quick. 774, oh no, not 774, 106, 45, 236, 70, 9507, 4895, 184, 69, and 936, 681.22. Minus seven seventy four twelve leaves ninety two ninety. Okay, the only sinking fund we took from this week was Christmas. So we had the candy, the candy, the beer, sixteen twenty, nine twenty six, fifteen ninety eight. And then the batteries for eight fifty six. Oh, that was a perfect fifty dollars, which is what I planned. This this messed us up. <laughs> Plus twenty four oh two, seventy four oh two. Okay. Nothing for these other ones. Um, Seventy four oh two minus ninety two ninety is eighteen eighty eight. Nineteen 
nothing for extra debt. Just rolling over 1888, which is what my weekly tracker says I should have left over at the end of the week. So all of my transactions have been accounted for. And that gives us a zero based budget. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, I hope you guys had a great Christmas and I am going to go ahead and record my last paycheck budget for the month of December, which is going to pay some of our um, sinking funds for the month of December and then we're going to roll over the rest into January to start the month with. So stay tuned for that. Um, after that, I will post my... Um, January budget with me. Yep, that's it. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.